Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job is some food to eat. Just 87, though, you know, it, it was cracking out of control, man. You know, it. I tell people you become desensitized to violence. Mm. In 1987, you're going to show up to a party, and it might be 20, it might be five, 20 niggas. But it's going to be about 20 insane niggas because the insanes was at least four to five times as as uh, uh, deeper than us. They, they were the majority back then. You feel me? Today, you have 20s around the nation. Yeah, we're, we're probably at least three, four, five times as in numbers as them today. But growing up in the 80s, the Insanes were uh, uh, the majority of the uh, gang members. So I tell people, you couldn't be no buster from 20s. Because mm. you're going to show up to a party and immediately you the minority. You feel me? Most people want to join the majority where I'm going to be there and I'm going to be 50 of us and only 10 of you. Well, I'm from the smaller hood, and when I show up, I'm ready to fight because I, I'm going to have to fight for mine. Mm. I loved it, though. <laughs> I, I had to get out of that because you, you become desensitized and you start liking violence. Mm. You feel me? So that's what I, I, I noticed with a lot of individuals out there. When you become desensitized to violence and you no longer have that emotional attachment that's attached to doing it, then man, you see a lot of a lot of negativity out there, you know, and that and that's what we out here doing. We out here breaking the chains. First, first you got to open people's eyes to what's going on. You feel me? And you shock them with what's going on. And after you shock them with what's going on, you teach them and try and change that shit so we don't have the same repetition problems that we've been having since '87. What's the, uh, or let me ask it, I guess, in a different way. Eastside Longos, the Longos in Long Beach, was there always, you know, bad blood between the black gangs and the Mexican gangs in, in Long Beach? That didn't, that didn't start to the mid and late 90s. Really? Uh, growing up in Long Beach, I tell you, uh, <laughs> I missed the 80s because we used, if we wore, there was a reason to war. You feel me? We didn't just go out and really fuck with nobody for no reason. So if you if you fucked with us, that's why we fucking with you. And it was the same thing. I I, <clears throat> I grew up so close and respecting so many Longos. And it hurt my heart to in the nineties all of a sudden the blacks and the Mexicans, we didn't forgot how to get along. I don't I don't understand that. Because for the majority of the time when I grew up in my neighborhood the East Side Longos, the West Side Longos, the Barrio Pobres, all them, we didn't, we didn't, we fucked with and we shared the, the neighborhood with them. I grew up on Chestnut Street, one block away on Cedar Street, you had a million East Side Longos. And we fucked with them all day long. You feel me? That hurt my heart to see the, the Asian gangs, the Mexican gangs, and the black gangs in Long Beach break apart and then start warring with each other. That seemed like that happened in the 90s, because in the 80s, that didn't happen. The gangs usually fought within each other. You didn't have Mexicans, you know, going over warring with black gangs. You had Mexicans warring with other Mexican gangs, but there was no cross-race warring. And, you know, the ra it seemed like the race wars started in the 90s. Mm. And, and I'll tell you, uh, one, one of the best things that happened to me, and people think this is a negative sometimes, I tell about people about going to jail. You know, because I was on a different path in my life prior to me heading to jail. I, I probably would have been on trial doing it for either a murder or fucking ready to do a murder, you know, during that time. So, you know, for me to get locked up and to get my mentality changed really changed a lot. And I didn't go to the state. I went to the feds. So in doing five years in the feds, there's different, there's a different fucking uh, uh, politicking in the feds. Mm. See, they state bang in the feds. It don't matter if you black, white, Mexican, orange, purple, green. If you from California, you from California. Okay. You feel me? So it ain't like in the state when you hit in there and now you got the politics of you can't talk to a Mexican, Mexican can't talk to it. When you hit the feds, it's state politics. So the moment my, my first day on the yard in the feds in 2002, a uh, Mexican from East Side Longo sent me a care package with food, a toothbrush, and everything else to sh to say 
the shit they go on in the street don't go on in here. And here, it's like the 80s. We back together. You feel me? Wow. That was some real ass shit. Mm. Damn, it's fucked up. Where did it go wrong? Do you know? I mean, you don't have to share it if you don't, but do you know where it went wrong in the street? I think, uh, I think it went wrong with, uh, uh, with drugs. Uh, yeah. And, and what I'm, what I mean by that is not so much of the drug use as it is the drug selling because at, what did change was the pipeline of the drugs coming into the country. You know, the pipeline used to come from, you know, the East coast and Florida and all up through the Gulf of Mexico. All of a sudden the pipeline start coming in through Mexico. So now you have a lot of the Mexican gangs now controlling the drug scene. And whenever you start mixing drugs, money and territory, you, you're going to get a lot of fights over, you shouldn't be selling drugs in my neighborhood and this, this and that, you know? So a lot of it was drug territory wars that started, you know what I mean? And it didn't morph into black versus Mexican versus white versus Brown. You know what I mean? And, and now, you know, there's not enough people standing up like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and, and that's actually saying the right things. You could say some shit, but you got to say the right things to change some shit. Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room but life is a mama sita. She glad to meet ya. She bad coming soon. <laughs> Better get the broom, my nigga. You clean up your house. She got a little more time to back out, cause she ain't your spouse. But do I love her? I need her. Maybe respect how I treat her. But when I see my baby, I'ma wanna go and feed her. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace.